So I'm about to show you how to get 30 plus new customer calls every month using AI. All you need to do is answer three questions about your business and AI is going to do everything else. It's going to write your entire Google business profile, the descriptions, the posts, everything. My client, Robert, tried this last month. His phone went from two calls a day to over 10 at $200 a job. And the best part, you don't need to write a single word. AI is going to handle all of the technical stuff. You know, all the prompts that I reference here are going to be available in my school community. There's a link in the description if you want to join. Now, most business owners completely overlook three simple things that make all the difference in local SEO. First, most business owners don't realize that their Google business profile is invisible to customers, but fixing this takes less than 10 minutes. Second, there's a simple AI trick that schedules an entire year's worth of posts in just a couple clicks, and almost no one is using it. And third, a hidden setting inside Google Business is sending calls to your competitors instead of to you, and I'll show you exactly how to fix it right now. But before we get into advanced strategies, you need a rock solid foundation. Most businesses skip this step, but if you set up your Google business profile the right way, you'll instantly get more visibility and customer calls. And the best part, AI can do this for you in just 10 minutes. Forget keyword research. You really don't need it. Here's what matters. First, you need to fill up every single box in your Google business profile. Every single box. Google rewards completeness. But who has time for all that typing when AI can do it in seconds? Let me show you the exact prompt I use to write perfect GBP descriptions. You are an expert at local SEO and improving GBP rank position. Please write a Google business profile description for a plumber in Houston, Texas, targeting 750 characters in length. They have him in business for XYZ years, and the unique selling proposition is XYZ. Just replace the parts about your business and the AI does everything else for you. Now, for categories and services, this is where a lot of businesses mess up. They'll choose one category and call it a debt. This is a big mistake. Here's how AI can fix this. So the first prompt, we're just going to describe what the local business is, and we're trying to get 30 or so relevant services that we can add to our Google business profile. Here's that prompt. You are a local SEO expert. What services should be added to a Google business profile for an HVAC service and installation company in Houston? Please be specific and list at least 20 services, but feel free to list additional ones. Each service should be specific offerings and not broad categories. Also, include variations of services that might have different names, but are commonly searched for by my target customers. Once we had those services, we're going to move on to the second prompt where we feed it our business type and our services and we get back four or five perfect categories to add to our Google business profile. You are a local SEO expert. What additional categories should a local business niche use for their Google business profile? I've given you a list of all current GBP categories. Please choose three or four additional relevant categories from this list. Here's a list of services they currently have on their profile. Okay, and with this output in less than five minutes, you're going to go from a basic profile to a completely optimized GBP with services and categories that Google loves. In just a minute, I'm going to show you the exact AI prompt that writes 52 weeks of posts in less than five minutes. Now that your profile is set up, the next step is to keep it active because Google prioritizes businesses that post consistently that keep their profile active. But instead of spending hours every week doing this, I'm going to show you how to automate a year's worth of content in 10 minutes so your business stays on the top with no extra effort. Now, I'm not going to read this part to you. It's quite long. I'll show it on screen. And don't forget, you can grab it in the school community if you want it. Here's that magic prompt. What I particularly like about this prompt is that it generates 52 prompts with four different categories of prompts. We've also given the AI exactly what type of output we want to see and the format that will work best for us. Feel free to change these if you have something different. These prompts are also going to generate seasonal prompts that fit when we're going to schedule them a year in advance. Just paste that prompt into ChatGPT and it will generate those 52 unique Google business profile posts, one for every week of the year. Everything that Google wants to see, hyper-specific to your local area. It'll talk about local events, service highlights, 
everything to show Google that you are a business in that actual location. Now, now that you have all these posts, you can schedule them using Go High Level or any other tool that allows you to schedule GBP posts. Just set them to repeat annually and delete the previous matching posts. And that's it. You had years of posting done in 10 minutes. But these posts are just the start. You also need to respond to every single review that you receive on your GBP. This is made easy because Google will email you when you get a review, so you can just click on the link, log in, and respond yourself. It's also even easier to set this up with Go High Level, so it automatically responds to every review with AI. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out this guide I did in a prior video, or like I said, just manually respond. Okay, for photos, what we're going to do is set up a weekly posting schedule where we post geotag images every week. Just make sure the location data matches your business address exactly. This sends powerful location signals to Google. And the last thing, this is something that almost every business I've worked with has forgotten to do. Make sure you create monthly calendar reminders to update seasonal information on your GVP like holiday hours. Google tracks how often you update your profile and these small changes can make a big difference. All right, coming up next, the mobile optimization trick that doubled our call volume. A well-optimized Google profile brings people to your business, but here's the catch. If your website isn't set up properly, those potential customers are going to leave without calling. There are a few simple tweaks that can instantly turn website visitors into paying customers, and I'll walk you through exactly how to do that. First up is mobile optimization. Now, this is critical for local SEO. Over 60% of local searches happen on phones, so your site needs to be perfect on mobile. And one-tap call buttons at the top and bottom of every page are critical to get those conversions. Simplify your mobile menu structure to only have three to five main options. Don't have three things on your menu. Now check your speed. If your set takes more than three seconds to load, you're going to lose customers. And make sure your content works on small screens. If people have to pinch or zoom, they're just going to hit back instead. Now for your homepage, this is your Google Business Profile landing page, assuming you have a single location business. There are three key things that need optimization on that page. First of all, the title tag. Secondly, the H1 tag. And third, the first paragraph. Your title tag and H1 should include your primary GBP category in the city name, exactly how it appears on your GDP. The first paragraph needs to focus on why a customer should call you, address their problem immediately, as fast and quickly as you can in the content. Put your click to call phone number in the header where everyone is going to see it and add a Google business profile embed of your listing directly on that page. This creates consistency in signals that Google loves. Also, make sure you include a review widget showing your GBP reviews. GHL makes this very easy to do. Now, we're going to talk about needing schema setup. Don't be scared. AI is going to make this super simple. We're just going to give it a prompt and ask it to generate the schema for us. It's a two-step process. The first prompt, we're just going to ask AI, what information do you need to create local business schema? We could look it up, but we'll just ask AI to give us that information. Okay, once it's going to give us the information it needs, the follow-up prompt is we're going to give it that requested information and simply say, with this data, please write local business schema. Before you put that on the website, we're going to run it past Google's structured data testing tool. Make sure there's no errors or warnings. If there are errors or warnings, we're going to give those errors or warnings back to the AI and tell it to fix it. Okay. Now, once that's done, the code goes into the head section of your website and tells Google exactly who you are. You can think of this schema as if you were moving out and you put everything into boxes, each box is going to have a label on it. Schema is those labels. Okay, for content, we're going to have AI write everything on category and service pages. As before, we're going to focus on immediate goal completion in the first two sentences. We're going to tell visitors exactly how you solve their problem. Then, we're going to add a paragraph about the primary category, followed by H2s for each secondary category. No, just wait until you see how we turn this web page into 36 individual articles without writing a word. Most local businesses that I see think a basic website is enough, but Google actually rewards businesses that have the right pages in the right place in the right quantity. If you're missing even one of these, you could be losing raking power, and that means losing customers. So let's break this down exactly which pages you need and how you can set them up 
very fast. First, create a page for every secondary GDP category you have. Your whole page is going to link to these category pages within relevant paragraphs. Each category page is going to need its title tag, H1, and first sentence optimized for secondary GBP category, city name. Then, you're going to add H2s for each service under that category with a paragraph about each service. Next, you're going to create a service page for every one of the GBP services. That's right. Every single one. That's how we end up with 36 pages. Your title tag, your H1, and your first sentence are going to focus on GVP service, city main. See how similar this is to the category pages? You're going to link each service page back to its relevant category page, and you're going to make sure that each service paragraph on your category page links to the corresponding service page. In this way, we're going to set up a structured hierarchy that creates a lot of top level authority and comprehensiveness with Google. Okay, now do not forget about your about page. You're going to include images of yourself, your team, your office, your work sites, preferably from different angles. Videos are even better. Google wants to know that you're a real person, a real business with real employees. Okay, so by now, you should have over 30 pages. Sounds like a lot, but with AI creating the content, this whole process should take just a couple of hours. And this puts you ahead of 95% of local business competition that's out there. Now I promised you an AI prompt to write that content, and here it goes. As before, it's quite long, so I'm not going to read it for you. You can grab it in my school community if you're interested. Just take that prompt and swap in your specific category or service, and you'll end up with professional optimized content in just a few minutes. All right, next up, we're going to break down the trust signals that make Google prioritize your listing over your competition. Even if you have the very best website, Google still won't fully trust your business unless you have these key trust signals in place. This is what separates businesses that rank number one from those that are buried at the bottom. I'll show you how to build that trust step by step. To do that, to build that trust, we need to shift our focus to off-site SEO. Don't worry about the terminology, that simply means building trust with other websites. You can do this manually, honestly takes forever, or you can use third-party services to help speed things up. IceConstruct.shop is a fulfillment website that I own that I obviously use for all these services since it's my website. So the first thing we're going to do is get citations across the internet. A citation is simply a listing of your business name, address, and phone number on a variety of directory sites. You want to make sure that they match your Google business profile exactly, character for character. Even minor differences can prevent these from helping the rankings as much. The next thing we're going to do is create social profiles that link to the website. Not just Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. I said Twitter, I'm an X. One day I'll get in straight, but also industry-specific platforms. You don't need to be active on them, you just need to create them and then link to your site. Then, submit a press release about your business. This creates instant credibility and gets you links from trusted news sites. Not surprisingly, AI can write this press release for you too. Social signals are next. These are simply mentions and shares of your content, your business name across social media. They show Google that real people are engaging with your business on life and the Baywa. You need a link from a quality website pointing to every one of the URLs you created. Every single one of them. At my agency, we never publish content that we don't source links to. But we typically use something called PVNs from the same source I mentioned earlier, IceCoomTruck.shop. These links tell Google that your content deserves to rank. Now, finally. This is the big one, join your local chamber of commerce. This is going to cost a few hundred dollars, but it's worth every penny. Why? Well, Google knows that legitimate local businesses join chambers of commerce. Lead gen sites and fake businesses, they don't join. You don't even need to attend a single meeting. Just being a member sends powerful trust signals to Google. Now here's something most SEO experts will tell you. Google tracks your missed calls. We talked about goal completion earlier, right? Well, when a Google user calls and the business owner doesn't answer, that's a bad user experience. I watched rankings drop after too many missed calls. Now, I've heard from some SEO experts that Google can't track whether calls are answered, but they're forgetting something important. Why did Google create Android in the first place? 
They didn't create and release Android for free out of the goodness of their heart. Android gives Google data to improve the user experience, including tracking missed calls. And Android owns half of the U.S. phone market. When you don't answer, Google notices and your rankings suffer. Now, this entire method that I've walked you through takes just a few hours, maybe a couple evenings of work. And if you follow these steps, you'll rank in the top three of 80 to 90 percent of cities nationwide. If you're in that 10 percent, a major city like Houston or Chicago, you're going to need to create additional supporting content. Make pages that answer people also ask questions about your categories and services. Create neighborhood specific pages targeting your primary category in these different areas. I've seen this turn the GBP map completely green even in competitive markets like downtown Chicago for LASIK eye surgery. Here's a before and after. So now you have the exact process to optimize your Google business profile and your website, every AI prompt, every step. But you might be wondering, does this really work? Well, check out this video on your screen right now. I'll show you how a plumber in Plano use these exact steps to generate $50,000 in new business in just six months. You'll see his actual Google business profile, the real call numbers, and the specific changes we made that got the phone ringing. Again, the video is right here.